We begin tonight with new details in a deadly crash that was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. A Cranston man is killed after his car somehow launched off the road and landed upside down on a set of train tracks. This was the scene on Dyke Street in Providence before sunrise this morning. Now police are still trying to piece together what happened. And new tonight, we're learning more about the driver who was behind the wheel. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now from Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the new details she's uncovered. Steph. Well, new since noon, police have identified the victim of this deadly crash as 52-year-old Amado Fuentes. Now, a neighbor actually showed me their surveillance video from the moments before the crash. You can see Fuentes' car speeding down Dyke Street, and police say it ended up over here, barreling through the fence and landing on the train tracks. A crane lifts this sedan from the train tracks in Olneyville Monday morning. Police say the car was upside down on the tracks after 52-year-old Amado Fuentes drove down Dyke Street around 4.30 a.m., crashing through the fence and vaulting more than 25 feet over one set of tracks to land upside down on the other side. We got a report of a car on the trap on the tracks with an entrapment and uh, when we pulled up we saw one victim on the tracks. As you know the, the tracks are alive, there's electricity running through so we had to wait for Amtrak to, um, to turn off the power and we also had to make sure we stopped both trains um, in both directions. Once it was safe, firefighters pulled Fuentes from the car. He was about 30 feet into the track, so it, it is quite an area that he, the car had to jump to get that far. So um, we had to go down one side and then up the other side to get over there. Fuentes was pronounced dead on the scene. There was no one else in the car with him. The cause of the crash is under investigation by the Providence Police. And Mr. Fuentes lived in Cranston. His friends tell me he had one adult daughter and several siblings. You'll hear more about him from his close friend coming up new at 6 o'clock. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. First at 6, there are still several questions tonight about a crash in Providence that left a car upside down on train tracks and a Cranston man dead. And the crash happened here early this morning. And tonight, we're hearing from a friend of the victim identified this afternoon as 52-year-old Amado Fuentes. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steph. Providence police are now investigating why Amado Fuentes crashed his car through this fence onto the train tracks here in Olneyville. Amado Fuentes' car pulled off the train tracks in Providence. After a crash, he did not survive. The 52-year-old from Cranston leaving behind family and friends who want to know why. He will give you his left right hand to anybody, you know, and it's very sad to hear that he's not there anymore. Helene Leon says he's been friends with Fuentes since the 1980s when they both immigrated to Providence from different countries. We worked together for co-workers for 25 years at Easter Butcher Block. We went to Cuba, we went, I talked to Guatemala, and we were just best friends. He says Fuentes went to his new job in the early hours of the morning, possibly explaining while he was out driving at the time of the crash around 4.30 a.m. Police say the car apparently sped down Dyke Street, crashed through the fence, and landed upside down on the tracks. Leon telling us how he'll remember the 52-year-old father of one. A happy, happy guy. He just, he would love to enjoy life and, and enjoy it. I mean, there's, there's, there's really no words. He was just a good friend. And a neighbor showed me their surveillance video of the moments before the crash. They've also given it to the police. It appears to show Fuentes suddenly speeding down Dyke Street before crashing into this fence. Police say they are investigating what caused that to happen. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.